G'day, I'm Kate Grog, how are you? Today I'm taking on a cracker of a two day hike into the Butterwangs. Um, I was so excited to get back in here. I've been watching the Morton National Park website and waiting for them to open these areas up again after the bushfires. And this is, this is one of my favorite hikes um, from the Wog Wog campground into Burrumbeet Brook. Um, and it visits some pretty amazing areas. It goes um, past Corring Arch, which is an amazing natural rock arch. Corring Peak, which is a beautiful lookout. Um, we're also gonna do the Cascades Trail. So on the Corring River, it's some pretty mad Jurassic Park kind of scenery. Well, it was last time I was here. Uh, I reckon I've done this hike about eight times before, but obviously I haven't done it since the fires. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit sad but also really interesting to get into this area and check out what it's like now that the fires have been through and it's, yeah definitely quite changed um i've got three very special guests with me today i've got elsie jimmy and laura and i'll introduce you to them in a little bit that's laura elsie and jimmy Wow, so we've come out to a section that they've just bulldozed, I guess, as a fire break. It's quite interesting. This was absolutely not here before. Gosh, it's incredible. So we've made it to the turn uh, to the Cascades Trail and geez, this area is so unrecognisable. Um, really helps to have the GPS maps because yeah, we kept sort of losing the trail there. I mean, you can see the path mostly, but every now and again, you'll just be like, oof, uh, <laughs> where's it gone? Um, so it is really nice to have those GPS maps and just sort of uh, turn and make sure that we're following it properly. Um, but this area used to be oh, just such big, big trees and it's quite the ecotone so it's like this sharp sharp change of vegetation so there's these big trees here then it goes down into that swampy area behind me um, and the sort of there were no trees or shrubs and then there's sort of a different vegetation type over on the other hill it's it's quite incredible to see it and I'll see if I can find some pics of what it used to look like I'm also really excited about this area because part of it used to be a, um, an Aboriginal pathway so it's pretty special to be following the footsteps um, of you know a culture that's been around for 60,000 years. It's just mind boggling. I'm so happy. It's so nice to get out here and it's just it's just pretty special also to be in an area that, you know, like I was saying, I've hiked this several times before and just the comparisons, I, I love that about nature too. Like, you know, while the bushfires are sad, it's so cool to have that comparison and even just the change of season is so interesting out here. Wowzers. After the fire, it's made navigation pretty tricky because the tra track is just invisible. So, having to use the GPS quite a bit.
well, they've got the no trespassing signs up near the uh, Korang, that pool, the old camping area. So um, and there was no indication that it was still up way further back until you actually get to their property boundary. Um, so I'm just sort of skirting around the edge of their property and then we're going to link back up with the normal trail. Um, it's pretty easy to do at the moment because of the bushfires. So um, I actually tried to do it once in the past, but the bush was just so thick that we, we couldn't get through. Just having a wee little rest. Uh, we've been bush bashing for about an hour maybe. I'm ready to get back to the track. <laughs> We are back on the track and I am happy for that. Uh, it, <laughs> it wasn't particularly horrible, it was just a bit of a head fuck. <laughs> Ugh. It was just really slow going. Um, so it's pretty annoying and very, very ashy. Anyone who's been here before will just be shocked to see this. Man, this was like three foot, three metre high, thick, thick hakea. I mean, it's still beautiful, but wow, what a change. It's just almost unrecognisable. Well, I was all bravado about going for a swim, but I just got my little tootsies in that water and whew, it's cold. Um, so I think I might just, you know, wash the face or the little black muck off, um, wash the feet. And then uh, I think that's as much swimming as I'm going to get done today. <laughs> Feeling refreshed, hopefully only about an hour to camp. <sighs> and look what we have beside me, some mildly unburnt vegetation. Um, I'm pretty sure this is vegetation that burnt, whew, must have been about three years ago. So while it's had a bit of a burn, it hasn't burned as hot and there's still tree canopy, which is really nice to see.
the old bridge is looking a little sad. Look at that Lou. She got burnt in the fire. It's pretty crazy here actually. It's almost unrecognizable. I mean, I've been here so many times, but gosh. This whole rock face here used to be sort of yellows and light grays, a bit of red. But now it's just, look at it, it's black. Must be from up on the ridge, all the trees burnt and the ash just washed down the cliff. We have made it to camp. We have our cheese platter happening with Laura and Elsie. And if it's a good turn. Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> bad camera angle. And Jimmy's got his tent there. Elsa and I are here. Laura's tent's there. And I've got a beer. So these are my little dial packets that I dehydrate and um, what do you do? Vacuum pack them. They're really great. I leave them in the freezer and then I take them out and they, they last forever. It's Elsie's special recipe and then we put a bit of fresh broccolini in it and it's uh, quite yummy, isn't it? What yes. do you think, Laura? So good. Cracker, Elsie, about to get into it? Um, obviously, I think it's amazing. Amazing? So it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> morning uh, we got up early Jimmy Laura and I and we're gonna go off and see if we can get a nice view from your lookout it's pretty wet and rainy but um yeah you know sometimes that's when I've seen the coolest stuff well, we made it to the lookout and the view is spectacular <laughs> it's pretty cool I wanted to show you this though this is a spot down here between these two sort of conglomerate blobs. That's where I um, had my first, my first ever solo camp. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I strung up the hammock sort of um, hanging off a couple of the conglomerate rocks and just sat there and then I came up here and watched the sunrise and um, out there is um, Mount Cole, Mount Owen and the castle. It was pretty amazing watching the sunrise over them. So we've just uh, come down a cute little ramp here and um, and this like tiny little cave here, but it's just under Yurunga Lookout. It's pretty cool. I'll try and get a video of the little ramp we came down. It's just this little slot. It's quite quite gentle and pretty. But what an incredible little world down here. So this is the cool uh, slot we found. Having fun. <laughs> Drowned rats. This is what I think is a king fern. It's pretty incredible. It's just got different leaves and it sort of sprouts from the base. <gasps> it has, it's got its jingle jangles. Hi. Hi, Jimmy. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> We're gonna finish our breakfast and pack up. We're off on the trail, packed up camp. A little bit later than we thought, 10.30, but um, hopefully the rain is only just this little spitty stuff the rest of the way. It's a little bit disappointing because I wanted to sort of, you know, linger around and look at a few things like the arch and stuff like that. But anyway, I think it's just going to be heads down and <laughs> back to the car. We made it to Korang Arch. I'm currently on top of the arch. Unfortunately, the views are a little bit foggy still, but there's Jimmy 
and Laura and Elsie. <laughs> and there's that crazy overhang with all the fallen. <laughs> Oh, so beautiful, even if we can't see anything. <laughs> There's Laura on the arch again. Here comes Jimmy. Hey. Rain swept. <laughs> Bit damp. <laughs> Elsie in a cave. <laughs> Such a good little cave. Check out this duck board, it's all melted. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That's how we bought him. Jimmy looks so pretty. <laughs> Jimmy always looks so fresh. Like, everyone's just haggard. And you're like, Sponsored by caramel. I don't feel it. I feel it. <laughs> and Laura. <laughs> Today has been uh, very wet. No talking, just heads down and hiking. But found a little cave for a snack. <laughs> All right, we're pounding out. I think the last five k's now. It's been very wet and soggy and <laughs> pretty quiet and just heads down and hiking. But it is kind of cool to get the typical butterwangs. <laughs> Fogged in, wet, soppy, um, long trudge out. It'll certainly make the shower all the more worth it. <laughs>